on this rainy day that I've been kind of reminiscing about the past two years. And I know how it feels sometimes, right? Those different situations creep back into your mind on what happened. Those different situations creep back into your mind on how it happened. How'd you get here? How'd you get to this predicament? And I always tend to get lost in my thoughts on different situations that have happened in the past and how I reacted to them, how I handled them. And I always talk to God and I ask him like, Lord, did I handle this correctly? Like, was this the outcome that I really wanted? And I, I tend to get caught up in the lukewarm, right? Yes or not, not yes or no, not a straight answer, but kind of like a middle ground. Realize this, that every situation that had, whether it was a positive or a negative outcome, happened because it was God's purpose for it to happen. It was God's timing for it to happen. And everything happens for a reason with God. Don't let anybody else tell you that. I remember it was really, and, and y'all keep this on the low, <laughs> but I remember actually yesterday hanging out with my friends and stuff like that. And, you know, different mistakes that I made and I'm learning. So, you know, but this happened yesterday. So me my, and a couple of friends, we went out, went downtown to a university and we, you know, got food, got, you know, drinks. We got, well, we got water, but we got food. Then after we got food, we went to the arcade and had a good time, had a blast. It, it was, it was fun. Right. So before I had we had gone in, obviously I had to park. And at the, in the in, in, in the in the in the moment, right, you're like, OK, like I'm going to just park this car right here. You know, we having a good time. We're going to go have we're going to go have a blast. You know, we had a blast for about two or three hours. It was fun. It was good vibes. It was it was fun. Right. We go back outside and I was like, I realized like my car is missing. Then I asked myself, did I park there or did I park somewhere else? Like, <laughs> like, why is my car not sitting where I thought it would, right? So let's just say I figured out I got towed. My car got towed. Lesson number one, <laughs> do not Park in an area that says you will get told. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't even risk it. But I got told, right? So I was really going through it. I was freaking out like crazy. Like, and God bless me and God bless all of us to be able to get back. I had to call the number. I ended up walking, me, me and my friends, we had to end up walking 16 minutes to the towing place. And then I had to end up paying over $200. Like, y'all don't realize, like, bro, I'm a college student. Like, I ain't got money like that right now. Now, I'm finna go get some bread. Like, we finna, we finna, we finna really stack. But you're your typical college student. You ain't got a bunch of bread. You ain't got a bunch of money on you. So paying how, like, I, at the time, I didn't have that much money, but I had people around me who were able to aid me and help me. And those are the type of people you need to keep in your life. Those are the type of people who may take a bullet for you. Those are the type of people you don't realize, like, you've been ignoring them for so long that they have been the ones for you, right? I reminisce all the time about that that day all the time like if i would have parked somewhere else if i would park somewhere where i like i didn't even you know there was no sign i wouldn't have got charged my car wouldn't have got towed my, like we wouldn't have been walking 16 minutes in the cold 
This was late at night. If I would have made better decisions in the past, right, maybe I'd be in a different situation. But see, that's why it's so important that we don't worry about the past. And yes, the past can teach teach you a lot of things. Like the past has taught me, a, especially yesterday. The past has taught me a lot. And I'm not saying you can't move on, but sometimes you have to look in your past and see how you handle situations. So you won't reciprocate what you did last time. You don't want the same outcome. You have to do something different, right? It's honestly just been a lot, like a lot of changes, a lot of stress. It's a lot of, it's a lot of newness. It's a lot of just, it's a lot. Like it's a lot of new work. It's a lot of new situations. It's, a, it's, it's And it can be overwhelming. Like it can. And getting my car towed was another, was probably like the greatest stress. Because I didn't know if I was going to get it back. So what I'm trying to tell y'all is, don't allow, listen to your past, but don't allow your past to stress you, overwhelm you. Because right now it's overwhelming me. And I may be looking like I'm cooling and chilling and like I'm okay, but bro, it's real. Like that stress stuff is real. Like, don't ever t let nobody tell you that it ain't real. It's real. And I might be yapping a lot on this video, but my st that story I just I just shared with you, I'm over trying to teach you how to be aware, right? To learn from your mistakes and to not reciprocate your mistakes again, right? Because when you do that, that's wisdom. You're learning how to not do it again, right? So learn from my situation. Take every past situation with a grain of salt, right? Take my situation with a grain of salt. But learn from your past. Do not reciprocate what you used to do, right? But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, comment down below what y'all want to see next. It's been your boy. God bless.